it, we're going to start with girls soccer. Big time matchup between Central and Grand Junction. It always is. Let's get you at the Community Hospital Unity Field right now. And it didn't take long for the fireworks to get going. Uh, under 30 seconds in. In fact, right off the opening touch, the Tigers within their own end. But watch out quick. Central forces the issue. Leanna Bryant scores her 18th goal of this season. She's averaging uh, one and a half per game. More Bryant here. Such a big task for defenders. This time dumps it off for Elizabeth Stice. Brave defending from Danny Yate getting in the way of the shot. Later, more central here. Bryant, Ryan Mason, a nuisance for that Tigers defense, but hang on a second. Yank comes in, clears it away. That's not just a clearance, though. Watch him go the other way. It's Alondra Sanchez gets in there, zooms in. She's got wheels to show off, got some work to do. Let's the defender blow by. Nice concentration from Jasmine Hernandez to keep it 1-0. Uh, that motion, though, it got Junction Faithful out of their seats. It got the Tigers believing, too. Moments later, Michelle Del Cid with the nice pass into that danger area. Look who it is. Alondra Sanchez takes more than one stab and slots at home. We've got a 1-1 ball game. And it has to be said, Junction, they found their rhythm right here in this portion of the half on defense. They find a way to pry Bryant off the ball. That's not an easy task going back uh, the other way. You're going to see a nice ball in from Ellie Burton, forcing Jasmine Hernandez to make a play on the ball. But Central, they start to get it rolling again. Bryant using her footwork to get a shot off there. Uh, later, the Warriors' Mason is going to let one fly. Keeper thinks she's just going to watch it go wide instead. Ooh, off the post, still 1-1 but not for long, and that's thanks to this play. Uh, what else is new? Bryant going hard. It, it falls to Mason, and this time Ryan Mason makes some pay. 2-1 Warriors at the half. Let's get you to the scoreboard. On consecutive weeks, we miss the end of an overtime thriller. I think it's been three weeks in a row, actually, the 9 o'clock. Not our friend as of late, but the Central Warriors, they hang on to the 3-2 overtime win. Also going on earlier today, the Palisade Bulldogs topped by Battle Mountain Huskies 4-3. Of the nine Bulldogs losses, five have been one-goal games. A lot of close matchups for the Bulldogs. In baseball, 